Hey guys, and welcome to the episode of Reaper's Unboxing. So, I went to go see Mission Impossible today, and uh, the review is already up. And all this is be done, all be put up in one same day. So, everything's gonna be pain in the butt trying to get as many of these videos up, but I'm going to do it and get it done. Yes, believe, believe, people, believe. Um, but I went after I went to go see Mission Impossible 5, watch the review. Click this bad boy right here to go see that review if you haven't seen it. I got this Gods vs. Monsters Just League. Um, I got this at Target of all places. Yes, Target, not Best Buy. Target. I was gonna order on Target online. I mean, Best Buy online, but for some reason, it wasn't allowing me to set for a delivery. Couldn't do a store pickup. It was having I was having issues with the website, so I said, screw it. I'll wait till the next day to do it. And well, me and my mom went to Target right after Best Buy. I mean, right after Mission Impossible, and this was the last one. The last one. And uh, yeah, they're of course limited edition. This is the first time I've actually seen it where it says limited edition and it tells you the exact number of editions there are. And it kind of surprised me. But let's get into this opening for this. So I saw this. This was actually an amazing movie. Um, I was uh, kind of skeptical about it, but I took it as if I was. Um, I took it the way I uh, I took it. I was like, like, no, that just sounds stupid. That just retarded. But then I thought about it. I go, this is more like a Marvel. Um, you know, what if storyline, what if, you know, and I love the Marvel's what ifs, and this is pretty cool, um, you know, a little what if for DC, and it comes with a figure, yes, it comes with a, oh cool, it comes with a little Wonder Woman figure, Wonder Woman, from the, this uh, movie universe, Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman, but yeah, and her origin story is actually pretty badass, um, in this, so all their origins are pretty cool. It's just totally different. It takes their whole mythos and changes everything around of what we know. Actually, I love the artwork. The artwork's pretty badass. Take a look at this artwork. So you have the Just League God, uh, Gods and Monsters. But look at it. You have Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. But if you look back behind them, you have the original, what they really looked like if it was the real ones. So the what ifs. What if? So, and if you don't know the storyline for this, oh god, that's kind of crazy. And this is the back version of it too. And this is all embossed too, the whole front, as you can see, hopefully you can tell by the reflection. But, yeah, it's basically what if Zod's son came to Earth? What if, you know, uh, Batman was a Bruce Wayne, but it was, uh, what's his name, uh, what's the guy's name, Kurt, is it Kurt something? He becomes a Batman because of the he was working on the Bat Venom. Instead of becoming the Bat the Man Bat, he becomes Batman. So those are the alternate things that they did to change it. And that was actually pretty cool. And Wonder Woman is from not from Earth, she's from um, another planet as well. So those are those are two these are like complete opposites of you know how to, you know they could have done. I love what they do with it. I love the whole twist of the whole storyline, which is pretty cool. It was definitely different. It was definitely um has some cool violent scenes in there. It's definitely different. I see the animation is definitely changing and gotten a little bit more serious in the roles. And there you go. This is the Gods and Monsters uh, DVDs and Blu-ray. The DVD is in purple. And the Blu-ray is in black. Yeah. That's the difference. That's the only difference. And of course the special features is a sneak peek at DC's Universe. Next animated movie. Exclusive on Blu-ray. Alternate realities. Infinite possibilities featurette. Calculated Risks, The Making of Gods and Monsters featurette, The New Gods Vintage featurette, from the DC Comic Vaults, two bonus cartoons. So, that's what I like about these. They, have, they add those little extra cartoons there. Of course, I have the whole downloadable code, which I'm going to be giving to my brother because he loves it. And uh, you guys might have taken a glimpse at him and in my vlog as well before this. So, that was in the vlog for the game that I, just, I played in today and the my trip to the movie to go see Mission Impossible yeah so that is it for the unboxing of Gods uh, Just League Gods and Monsters if you love the DC Animated Universe series this is definitely one to purchase and own in your collection of DC Animated Movies I love this one a lot I did not like the Infinite Crisis uh, I don't know maybe it was just artwork I just it wasn't didn't grow on me there was another one that they had there's I think uh, the new fr the frontier one as well I didn't I wasn't a big fan of and uh, 
All Star Superman. Those are the three animated ones I did not. I wasn't really a big fan of. The storyline was cool, but I, for me personally, I didn't like it. Um, but I know a lot of you guys did love that and enjoy those. But yeah, like I said, DC is dominating the animated universe. If you have not seen any of the DC animated movies that they've been pumping out, if you've been living under a rock, get out of that rock. Get out from underneath that rock. Purchase one of these bad boys. Watch them. If you're a big comic book fan and you love animated stuff, this is definitely an amazing uh, feature at. As long as you know, like Just League, uh, Throne of Atlantis, Just League War, Batman, uh, Batman and uh, Robin, Batman, son, uh, sorry, son of Batman. Then you have uh, Wonder Woman. You have the Just League Frontier. I mean, Just Frontier. Just League Flashpoint. You have the Just League. Oh, I have them right. I have them all right here. Uh, Just League uh, War. Just like the, the that. The Just League Doom. I have Green Lantern. Green Lantern Emerald Knights. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm a big huge Marvel fan and. For Marvel not to pump out as many anime features like DC, it's kind of sad and disappointing, but I love DC as well. So, even though I favor Mar Marvel more, I still love my DC comics, and I love my DC anime universe because they have some amazing stuff going on. So, DC, keep up what you're doing, and keep giving us some great animated stuff. Until then, next time, we're going to see some more unboxings and some more trailer reactions. Because I know you guys love those trailer reactions. You guys thoroughly enjoy those. So, keep giving those recommendations up, guys. Alright, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Alright, guys. See you next time. Bye.